Mother Hell is that she really has left behind a legacy. People say, well, what is a legacy? Well, a legacy is a seed that was planted that you won't be able to see. It'll grow without you seeing it. So there was a seed that was planted in me. So my goal in life has been, my purpose in life has been to live out her legacy. I first found out about her, I was 17 years old. I come from a family where my mom loved to read. She was an avid reader, so the books that were in the home uh, when I was growing up were books like um, Biography of uh, Malcolm X, uh, Rat Brown, Angela Davis. So those are all the people who I knew about because of the books that were in my mom's home. She loved Jet Magazine and Ebony Magazine. So one day I was a senior in high school and I came across the Jet Magazine. And on the front cover was Reverend Jesse Jackson, who I had knew a lot about because the books and magazines that were in my home, uh, there was an article about him. He had visited the Hell House. And at the Hell House, he had met Mother Hell. And I opened it up and I read that article and that's when the seed was planted. Why do I feel that I'm fit to um, play the part of Mother Hell? Well, I feel that I am in a sense that I am a mother and I have had a lot of um, uh, experience through, vicariously through my daughter who has been a foster mother for many, many years. And I've seen what children go through and I just feel that the energy that she put into it has kind of transcended into me and I would like to be able to transcend that to a, the audience to let them know just how great a woman Mother Hale was and to give her um, you know, her flowers, so to speak, that she deserves. The government will tell us and the media will tell us that a home such as Mother Hale's was no longer needed because it was decades past since the heroin addiction and the HIV. Is that true? Was it really true that a home like this was no longer needed or was it no longer needed in a neighborhood that needed to be gentrified? Well, it's important to save the legacy of Mother Hale because Mother Hale, unbeknownst to many, many people, was really an icon in New York. She did things that were just unprecedented and she has never, ever gotten her due. So that's why that's important to me. I will continue to fight for her legacy. I will make sure people know how great she was. She said, tell them how great they are. Well, guess what? I'm gonna tell you how great she was. Mother Hale.